Bala and Peru are the two halves of a radio comedy duo who have developed a following that bridges the generation gap with their very own brand of humor. When we heard that our two favorite uncles are planning to retire, Vadim grabbed the opportunity to have a chat. Bala and Peru chose to say their goodbyes at one of their favorite haunts. After 16 years of record-breaking entertainment, the uncles Bala and Peru have finally announced their retirement to radio and show. But trust me, they are not leaving quietly. I'm Fadeen Mia and I hope you're having a rocking Sunday thus far. Now the success of Bala and Peru shows the importance of comedy in cultural society. And today, I get to meet the uncles at the Lyric Theatre in Josie. The uncles are actually characters created by Vikash Mathura and Ray Maraj and their easy-going, on-stage personalities belie their meticulous professionalism. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Pyarila. That was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. The timing was perfect, awesome. The, the music I'm hearing in the auditorium from where I'm standing sounds like it's still lower. Vikash and Ray, welcome to Mela. It's an absolute pleasure being able to interview you guys today. Thank you. Is it hard work being a stand-up comedian? But just a point of correction. Vikash and I don't do stand-up comedy. We don't do stand-up comedy. We're the only duo that does sit-down comedy in the country. <laughs> sit-down comedy. <laughs> to be honest, I found it almost impossible to do. And it was only through the assistance of some spiritual assistance backstage that I managed to get on and, <laughs> and do my stuff. Yes, it's difficult. It's about timing. It's about um, impact. It's about audience engagement. Um, it's an art that's taken us 20 years to even begin to understand. How much preparation and rehearsal goes into putting a stage show like this up? There's, there's two elements. So Ray was responsible for, for all the scripts, the content of the entire show. He began working on this about a year ago. I was responsible for putting together the production and that began a year ago as well. And that's purely because you need to coordinate between a whole lot of different venues. Um, you need to sit and rehearse and edit and put scripts together. What yeah, and we've had to tweak the, uh, the product as well, even after the very first show. We look at what's worked and what hasn't worked and uh, rework the script. And uh, we believe that we've got a great script. Ladies and gentlemen, as Uncle Peru for the last 17 years, give it up for the one and only Mr. Ray Maharaj. And ladies and gentlemen, there's Uncle Bala Vikash Mathura. Tell us exactly who is Bala and Peru. I know they come from Verulam, and the only thing that I remember is I hired a suit from there once. But tell us more about these characters. The wives were characters created by Devi Sankri Gavinda and Krije Gavinda. Um, and about 17, 18 years ago, they were presenting a breakfast show on a Sunday morning on Lotus FM. And they introduced this feature called Tea Parties. And they created these two characters, two grannies, who would... Uh, about their husbands, complain about their useless husbands. And Ray and I decided, listen, we, we need to sort this out because we were doing the Saturday morning breakfast show, which <clears throat> was still more popular. Um, and so Bala and Peru were created. They are two 72-year-old gentlemen. And in the last 18 years, they haven't aged. Um, they still have the same sense of humor. They still have the same problems and challenges that other regular South African Indian husbands have. They dare to express things that other husbands think about but don't have the courage to say. So these are two gentlemen who are representative of the South African Indian community in many, many ways. The uncles may be based in Durban, but their fan base covers a good part of the globe. Their Gauteng friends arrived in strength for the farewell show. Good evening, Joe Harrisburg. <laughs> Where were you born? Billam. I beg your pardon? Verlim, Verlim. Verlim. Yeah. The only town in the world where the main road ends in the river. <laughs> Isn't you born in Tongat? <laughs> Those in Chong Tongat, they don't truly they born in Tongat. They truly they born north of Amslanga. <laughs> Let's talk about the not so good. They've also gotten themselves into a lot of trouble. Tell us more about that. I think you'll always have detractors and uh, we have learned to be thick-skinned about the entire thing. We've got a million people who listen to us at least in 40 countries around the world. And unfortunately amongst the Indian community, not just in South Africa, but globally, three or four people makes them make the most noise. You can't be sensitive being in the, the media to your critics and detractors. They've also somehow offended quite a few people because they see them as perpetuating stereotypes. What's a stereotype? You know, why should we shy away from who we are? 
every one of us. It doesn't matter, matter whether you're North Indian, South Indian, South South Indian, North North Indian, Muslim. It makes no difference. We all have an uncle and aunt who reminds us um, of Uncle Peru and Uncle Bala. Now to act big, like yeah. a boss auntie, yeah. she reckon, you know, I feel like Italian today. Oh, yo. The waiter is parking there. Poor fella relocated from Savera Hotel in Durban and came yeah. here. <laughs> She reckon I don't feel like eating macaroni that was parking. Yeah. I don't feel like eating pepperoni. Oh, yo. I don't feel like eating tortelloni. Oh, yo. That you reckon, auntie. Yeah. I don't feel like eating macaroni. You reckon, auntie, just tell me what you want. Yeah. Don't tell me what you don't want. Yeah. She reckon I'll have one pagioni. Pagioni? One pagioni. That reckon, it, Italian dish, that ma. That you reckon I haven't got it on the menu. Yeah. She reckon you got it, he reckon, madam, that is not Pagioni. What it was? Page one. <laughs> what about politics uh, from your side? Let's say the political feeling from your end and also the political feeling from Bala in Peru. From my perspective, Uncle Bala is apolitical. Uncle Bala is a everything. The only thing he cares about in his retirement years, in his twilight years, is having a good drink every day coming home and having peace at home, having a good meal and stories to share with everybody. I think Uncle Peru is also apolitical, but he's got bigger issues in his life. It's been three years since his uh, mother-in-law is in hospital and she remains critical. It's sad. It's sad. We should, why are you laughing? It's, it's I, 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 I feel for him, yes, certainly. What do you guys enjoy the most about Paula and Peru? I'm slightly schizophrenic in terms of the way I'm wired up there. Um, so Uncle Bala is an opportunity for me to, to escape and to become somebody else, albeit for just a few minutes every week. For me, the impact that made on society is what is important to me. People look forward to it. It's appointment radio. The smile it brings to their faces, it brings a spring to their step. It makes a difference in their lives. So then the million dollar question, why bring the show to an end? Ray has obligations and I've got obligations outside of the entertainment industry um, that demands our attention right now. And I believe that when you do something, do it 110% or don't do it at all. And that's the way I've, I've, I've worked on my entertainment career, thanks to JJ's guidance. Um, and Ray's got the same mantra. So when the time's up and if you can't give it 110%, give it up. I'm lucky my yeah. fro look like a movie star. Yeah, she look like uh, Hachwari Arai. No, man, like a movie star. Like Emma Malini. No, man. Yeah. Like Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> you must check her sideburns <laughs> and her moustache. Oh, yo. So definitely not a trophy wife, eh? Oh, yo, definitely not a trophy wife, Pedro. Yeah. More like one certificate of attendance. <laughs> While it's always making people laugh, do you think there's still a deeper message being conveyed? The uncles represent a sense of life doesn't have to be taken too seriously, even though it's very serious from Monday to Friday. But on a Saturday morning, you can sit back, relax, kick off, just lay back and enjoy 15 minutes of humor. That's what the uncles represent. It's almost as if it's an antidote for the severe pressures that we all experience in everyday, everyday life. You must have trust in a relationship. Very important. Trust you must have trust in a relationship. Most important thing is trust. Because how you know that your girlfriend is not going to tell your wife about it? <laughs> because and Ray, what are you going to miss the most about Bala in Peru? I think we're going to miss the appreciation from our listeners and from the fans around the country. Very few radio personalities and comedians can boast of attracting crowds exceeding 30, 40, 50,000 people at a time. At a show, at, at one at, show. At one particular show. And the difference it's made in their lives to bring a smile on their faces. We're going through an extremely difficult period in our lives. And if someone can say that we've brought a smile to their faces, it's reason enough for us to have been on radio for the past 17 years. I'm standing in the, 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 the reception of the hotel, right? Mm. Waiting for the lift to come. The lift? Yeah, when mm. auntie comes by me, right? She, mm. she whispers my hair. She said, your uncle Peru? I said, yeah. Mm. She said, I am all alone. Oh, yo. 1507, sweetie. 1507, what was that waist size? A room number. Oh. I said, you're going to be breathless the whole night. Oh, yo. I said, you're going to be huffing and puffing the whole night. Mm. She said, promise. I said, promise. She said, why? I said, because the lift is broken. Start walking now. Where to next? 
for Vikash and Ray. It's time for us for, to look, look for bigger and better things and to focus our time on things that are more important. Not to say Peru and Bala are less important, but just from a priority point of view. And who knows, you know, the uncles might surface after 10 years, after five years, after five days. You never know with these two old characters what's going to happen. So final one, what's your message to all the people out there watching from the uncles? We're not superstars. We've never been superstars. We've simply been fortunate to be in a position to be on radio and share some brilliant moments with our listeners. And to all of them around the world, thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen, it has been an absolute pleasure being able to interview you here today. Good luck for the evening and all the best for the future. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Up to the nose, up to the nose, down to the toes, down to the toes. Where this goes, where this goes, nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> Cheers to those, cheers to those who wish us well, who wish us well, and the haters can go to. <laughs> I think it was brilliant. It was really nice. Loved it. Every minute of it. It was so amazing. They're very funny. Absolutely lovely. It was excellent. And we love the uncles, yeah. They have certainly changed the lives of many people in this country. It was a good spell that they've had, and I really enjoyed it. You know, we're hoping that they will come back on scene as well. It's not forgotten. I wish they could just continue and not ever, ever give up. I think I'm going to miss the show a lot, eh? I'm really going to miss them. We just wish we could have more Pere and Balas coming up. We're going to miss them. Sad to see them go. We want another one. One more. Mark Twain once said that the greatest weapon of the human race is laughter. And boy, did we use that weapon today. Catch Bala and Peru with their farewell tour at a city near you. Tiger, tiger, tiger.